this video I'll be showing how you can connect multiple power amplifiers to a single output of your mixing console. And thank you to Jeremiah for actually asking the question for this video. Now if you're seeking to send one output signal from your mixer to multiple power amplifiers, now there are two basic ways to achieve this. The first one is actually using multiple output ports in that particular output bus to send signals to multiple power amplifiers. For example, if your main output has XLR connectors and quarter range TRS connectors as well, you can use the XLR connectors to send signals to one amplifier and then use the quarter range TRS connectors to send signals to another amplifier. Now this method is very limited for a couple of reasons. The first one being that not all output buses in your mixing console have multiple connectors to them. So if you want to send signals from your group and auxiliary buses, you can't do that with this method because they only have one output connectors dedicated to each of those output buses. So just your main output can be used for this. That's if your main output has maybe XLR and quarter inch TRS. The second reason for why this method is limited is that you can't send signals to more amplifiers than the output connectors that output bus has. So if your main output has XLR and quarter inch TRS connectors and you want to use each of those connectors to send signals to different amplifiers, you can't send signals to more than two amplifiers. The second method for connecting multiple power amplifiers to a single output in your mixing console is to connect the mixer's outputs to one amplifier and then link that signal from the input of that amplifier to another power amplifier. For demonstration, let's assume I have a bunch of stage monitors across a very large stage all connected to a multiple power amplifier and I need to send a single mix to these stage monitors using auxiliary one. Now mind you, this applies to all different outputs in your mixing console, your main output, group outputs, as well as matrix, uh, matrix outputs if your uh, mix, mixing console has matrix outputs. So let's assume we are making an assumption here that I'm using aux one now to send signals to all of these stage monitors. I will send the signal to the first power amplifier like so. I'm using a short cable here for demonstration. And then to send the signal from this power amplifier to the second power amplifier using the method we are talking about, I'll simply connect a cable to the link of that input and connect the end of the, the other end of the cable to the second power amplifier. I don't have a power amplifier here. So what happens is that the link and the input of the power amplifier, they are connected internally in parallel. So the signal that comes from your output, output as it goes into the input of this channel of the power amplifier, that same signal is present at this link and you can connect it to your second power amplifier. Now if your power amplifier doesn't has, have um, a link post like this, then chances are your power amplifier has multiple points in each of its inputs. So for input one, it has probably an XLR row here and a quarter inch TRS, TRS here. So if you use any one of them, if you use the XLR to connect from the mixing console, you can use the quarter inch TRS as your link. So use the appropriate cable to link from the second input to your other power amplifier. With this method, you can link as much amplifiers as you want. If you'd like to know more about power amplifiers and how you can make connections between the power amplifier, the mixer, and your loudspeaker, then I've put together a couple of videos that will definitely help you out. Click here to check out that playlist. Thank you for seeing this video. I'm Kelvin. I'll see you in the next one.